Welcome once again. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we are going to be reviewing book number three in Tony Hillerman's mystery series starring Lieutenant L Joe Lephorn and Sergeant Jim Chi of the Navajo Tribal Police Department. Book number three is titled Listening Woman. Now, if you've been following my channel lately, you know I'm on a bit of a Tony Hillerman kick. Not long ago, I read the first book in the Lephorn and Chi series, The Blessing Way, reviewed it. Then I read the second book, Dance Hall of the Dead, reviewed it. You can catch those reviews on the channel somewhere. Now we're doing book number three, Listening Woman. I gotta tell you, this one's much more dark than the previous two. You know, basic setup for this series. You know, it's set on the Navajo reservations down in the southwestern United States. New Mexico, Utah, Arizona. The, uh, it's set there in the Navajo tribal nation areas around the Four Corners. And it's got the two guys, Lephorn and Chi, the lieutenant and sergeant. And they murders happen and they solve them. And it's great because it's set in the desert southwest. And Tony Hillerman does a fantastic job of describing the desert southwest. He makes everything about this universe, this desert, harsh, red rock, sagebrush universe, just come alive on the page and seem magical. I mean, if you love Louis L'Amour novels... Tony Hillerman with these Lephorn and Chi gives you all everything great that you love about those old Louis L'Amour Western novels, but he sets them in a modern era with um, modern cowboys and Indians and modern type murders and murder scenes and sensibilities and all of that stuff rolled into one. It's like if you read when you read this series, you will know what it's like to live. In northern Arizona or New Mexico or southern southern Utah on the Indian Reservation. I mean, that's what it's like. You learn all their religious practices, their folklore, everything about the Navajo Nation, the Hopi Nation, the Paiutes, the Utes, everything. You learn it. I mean, it's just an education. It's just an education to read these books. Tony Hillerman does a great job. I love them. And book number three. Listening woman, what's it about? Well, so, murders happen, you know. An old man and a teenage girl are savagely slaughtered, just brutally killed. And the last person to see them is this old woman, this old seer, this old Navajo seer, mystical woman, who, um, you know, and as Lieutenant Lephorn goes to investigate these murders, he runs across this woman who was the last person to see the old man and the teenager, and, you know, she's, uh, you know, she's the last person to see them alive, and all she speaks of is witches and restless spirits that have been unleashed on the land. And that's all the information that she'll really give. And, of course, Lephorn, our lieutenant, who's in charge of the investigation, he's like, he's been through this before. Because everything that seems to happen in the Navajo Reservation and the Navajo Nation, it, in, it involves, you know, just mystical things that happen in nature, just weird. And if you've ever driven through the Southwest or spent any time, you can believe it. You can believe there's magic there. And, you know, the Indians lived on this continent for hundreds and hundreds of years and built up hundreds and hundreds of different folklores about every animal that they saw and every tree and shrub and rock and star formation. I mean, everything has a religious meaning to it and not all of it's good. Some of it's bad. You know, the wolves and the witches, they're one and the same. And they come up a lot. The skinwalkers, the the evil people that can put on the skin of animals and appear as the animals themselves. They're in every single one of these books. And that's why I love these books is because 
as you're reading through it, gosh, there's so many. It's like watching an X Files episode where you just don't know if what you're reading is real or if it's something out of a ghost story, right? That's why these are great books for not only mystery fans, but also science fiction, fantasy fans, and horror fans. And like I said, at the end of this book, so far in the series, one of the most brutal, violent confrontations at the end so far. And it's just great. This series just overall is superb. Like I said, Tony Hillerman's written about 20 of these Lephorn and Chi novels. He started writing them in the early 1970s. He continued up into the mid-2000s before he died. There might be 20 or so of them that he's written. I've got them all upstairs. I brought, you know, I have a few of them are down here. Most of them are upstairs in my library. When he passed away, his daughter, Anne Hillerman, took over the series, and she continues the, le the uh, adventures of Lieutenant Joe Lephorn and Sergeant Jim Chi as they investigate murders as Navajo tribal policemen. So it's cool. It's cool. So I'm, I'm going to be going through all this whole series again in the next few years, and I'll just uh, review them as, as we read them. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I really like the series. I really like the way Tony Hillerman writes. And you will, too, if you uh, give it a chance. Now, they're short books, you know. Each one of them is only 250, 300 pages long. They're not that bad. They're easy reads. And you will learn a lot about our Native American peoples as you do it. So, Listening Woman, book number three. I give it eight out of ten. I think it's great. Go out, start collecting the series. Trust me, you will not be disappointed.